Today on Slowpoke Travel, Buck and I are going to compare a couple of portable laptop stands. I have the Roost stand and Buck has the... I have the Next stand. We've had them for over a year and we're going to tell you how we like them and compare and contrast them a bit and give you some food for thought if you're in the market for buying something similar. You ready? What? Well, to see which is better. See? Hey! Besides the ergonomic advantage of using a laptop stand, you also have your computer up off of the table or whatever surface you're working on, so you get air circulating around your computer. Your fans are going to work more efficiently, and it's going to help to keep your computer cooler. You know, before I had this laptop stand, I used to put my computer on a baking rack you know, to give it a little bit of lift off the table because I do a lot of video editing. So if you're using any kind of software, intensive software that uses a lot of juice out of your computer and overheats your computer, boom, having it on a stand uh, will help to keep it cool. Not this cool, but pretty cool. This one, the Roost, $75. The next stand, more like... The price has changed, it's about, uh, Five dollars more than what I paid last year, but we'll have some affiliate links down below. And you can click on those to check out details about it. Uh, they are affiliate links, but we are not being paid by either one of uh, these uh, portable stand makers. So uh, we don't get anything for endorsing either which one. These are just uh, the opinions that we've formed after using them for a year. That's what we're in terms of packaging. They're very similar, couple of differences. The Roost, again, overall the Roost is better quality. That's what you're paying more money for. And it's thicker, plus it's got this little handy dandy uh, in order to keep it closed, sort of like a, a, you find on many backpacks. You know, you can secure it a little more. The next stand, this is more, I don't know if you can see it very well, but it's more like a thin sock, like a trouser sock. You have to stretch it a bit to make it uh, the next stand fit, but it's very similar. So again, we're splitting hairs at this point. They're pretty similar, except for again, the sturdiness of the bag. So let's get into actually how they function. Actually, we're not even gonna talk about function yet. We're gonna talk about size. The size matter? Size matters. So you can see they're very similar. The roost takes up a little less room in terms of height. So again, if you're trying to be a minimalist packer, I use the Roost. And we're carrying one bag, I'm cramming stuff in there, every little ounce counts. But again, they're pretty comparable. So to open up the Roost, you're gonna put your thumbs behind what I call the grasshopper wings. And then once you get that opened up just a little bit, you can spread it out. There you have it, it's set up, it's sturdy. Now let's compare that. On the next stand, you have the grasshopper wings, and it, op it does open a little easier. But you can tell there is a bit of a difference. Now for Buck, this is where, this is the game changer. This is why he prefers the next stand. You can see it's taller. These are both on their highest settings. The next stand is higher, which means if you're a taller person, your computer, your laptop is going to set up a little higher. And I always have mine on the highest setting, but this will go all the way down. It has multiple settings, and this goes all the way down, but this one goes a little bit lower. See, if you put them side by side like this here, you can see that the next stand goes a little bit lower. It'll depend on the size of your chair, and the size of your torso, and the size of the table. But this here, you have a greater range of settings. And as a taller person sitting in a chair, I want my computer to be higher at the highest setting or at least have the option whereas if you put these close next to one another is that that the highest setting mm -hmm. you can see it's pretty significant where your computer is going to sit and let's go ahead and put the laptops in because although this the construction when you don't have a laptop in it's a little more wobbly again you're going to have a laptop in it most times and once you put the laptop in either one they're pretty sturdy they both have rubberized stops in the front, which keep it, once you put it in there, from moving around. The other difference is 
If you look at the roost, the roost will accommodate laptops that are up to three quarters of an inch thick. The next stand, they have this removable piece that allows this to be a, allow for a thicker laptop. Again, if you're trying to travel, chances are, you can tell that this is not the one I usually use because putting this back in, I'm going, Hoo -hoo. See, this, this fits in here very easily. Boom, 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 just clips in. That's all there is to it. Now, as easily as that goes in there, you know, that's sort of a drawback too because it can come out easily too. And you don't want to lose this because if you lose one of these, then your, uh, then your stand is going to be uneven. But again, if you are traveling, chances are you don't want a fat laptop. The laptop fits in. There's a rubberized piece right here. In both cases, that'll keep it from sliding around. And they've also got these uh, rubberized wheels right here that keep it from moving easily on the tabletop. Yours is, I think, better constructed. That's what you're paying for. You're paying for a little more sound engineering, maybe. Because this, I don't know which of these came first. You know, I think I've read that this is kind of a knockoff of this, you know, which is maybe why it's cheaper. That's what I read as well. It's, a, it's got a little more give in it. It's a little more uh, rickety. But once you put a computer in here, it's very stable. I think this here, you know, it doesn't have the, the same amount of give. I think the construction here is better, but you know, you're, you're paying twice as much. If I can buy something of quality and it'll last me 15 years, and this one maybe will last me five, and I have to buy three in 15 years. That's all theoretical though, because after a year, they're both in the same condition as when we bought them, and yeah. uh, they're both working great. But if, but if you had to pick one right now today, which one would you choose? Well, here's the thing. I've gotten used to this that's better quality, and so I, I might choose this again, where you would choose this one again because it has more versatility. I can be clumsy. I don't want to lose these pieces. I don't want to either. And you can look at me and tell that she's always going to pick quality. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know why you're laughing at that. Now, now, the main benefit of these is ergonomics. You know, that exactly. way you're not just you know, having your head bent over the whole time, looking at your screen. That's the main reason for having one of these. If you're gonna work on your computer all day, you know, you don't want your head bent down like this here. So if you get one of these stands for your computer, for it to be effective, you're going to have to get some of these peripherals. And we're, we're gonna have a separate vlog on this, but we wanted to give you a quick visual because we chose differently for our peripherals as well. Not gonna go into lots of details, Buck is a hunt and pet typist. His keyboard is a little wider. It's more traditional keys, it's a little heavier as well. This works, he loves this. Another great thing about what he purchased, his keyboard and his mouse use only one port on his computer. You have one little USB, you stick in the side, and it runs both his mouse, which is streamlined as well. He likes that. Lightweight, and then he has a more regular size keyboard. Yeah, and it's, it's great for traveling like this here, but also it has a little uh, charger cord. So when it's getting low on power, I can charge it with my computer. They don't use batteries. And I haven't had to charge this. I've maybe charged these things three times in the year that I've had this. And that's comparable to my setup. My setup is a little different. I wanted a really lightweight keyboard. Again, had this for over a year, you think, oh my God, that's not gonna last. It's by a company called iClever. So when I looked at peripherals, I had a different set of needs. I don't hunt and peck. I'm, in I'm typing, I'm not even looking at the keyboard. This has also an advantage of there's just a little bit of a V, which you think that's not gonna make a difference. It makes a world of difference when it you're does. spending hours. It makes a world of difference because I'm a hunt and pet guy. That little bit of, that little bit of a curb makes this horrible for me. I can't stand it. And it makes it. it extra great for me, but it's also lighter weight. This also uses my Bluetooth connection on my laptop. So if I wanted to use wireless earbuds and this, I'd have to have an adapter. That's one downside, depending on how you do it. But generally, if I'm at the computer listening to something at the same time, I just put in my wired earbuds and I have no problem. This one is wireless, but it has a place you can plug it in if it, if it 
goes out, you just get the wire out, you plug it in, and you keep going. So that's nice about both of them. My mouse uses a USB. So I'm using two different parts of my computer, and sometimes, as we know, peripherals, you need, you know, you need all the, you want to use them, they're valuable. But I have a dongle, we can talk about that another time. But the other thing is, I didn't want a streamlined mouse. I tried it for a little while, it hurt my wrist, it just wasn't my thing. So I have a regular mouse. Just wanted to say a couple of things about the peripherals because you're gonna need to decide what's most important for you as well. Don't twist around my peripherals. No, I'm just saying, I'm, I'm jealous. I mean, I like, I like the size of yours compared to mine, but that V just kills it for me. So I could be happy with either laptop stand, but having used the Roost, I would choose, again, the better quality, no extra moving parts that I could lose, and the variability in the, the range of motion works just fine for me. But what about the price? Are you a Richie Rich? What's up with that? What about the price difference, dog? Quality sometimes costs. For me, the next stand is a no-brainer, because I like it to be right in front of my face. I like it a little bit higher. You know, I don't want to be looking down. I want that extra range. The table's gonna make a difference, the chair's gonna make a difference, and this range is gonna make a difference. And it costs less. What's to think about? Hope you don't lose those pieces. I hope I don't lose those pieces. <laughs> That's another thing. When I pack this in my, in my bag, you know, you definitely want to use your travel sack. All right. Let's wait for the church bells. Ah, oh, the lovely church bells on Church it. bells. No. Now, because of these removable tabs, you always want to pack your neck stand in its little travel sack. You know, you kind of have to stretch it a little bit to get it over the fat end. I always put the fat end in first because I want to secure my tabs. Now, the neck stand is a little bit taller than the roost. But it still fits easily in my pack, and we, and we have the same pack. Uh, but with my uh, keyboard and mouse, I just pack it in the box it came in. Boom, boom, boom. And then my neck stand goes right in here. So even though it's a little taller than the roost, I mean, it's still pretty compact. I mean, look at this here. Look how dinky do that is. Look how small this bag is. If I can do it, you can do it. But why would you want to do it? Give us your comments below what's worked for you, what hasn't worked for you. Adios from Camera Girl and Buck behind the camera today. I'm sad behind the camera. I know, you're used to being in front of the camera. Well, I